Hi, I'm Ree Rides. Welcome to episode six of What's in the Box. That's right, already up to episode six. Thanks very much for watching so far. Here's a little recap of our previous five episodes. Hi, I'm Ree Rides. Welcome to the first episode, Eleanor Seat. It's a 94 Fueler. Shimano BMX 5000 Bully Beta GT24 Episode 2 2002 Dave Mirror 540 Air 1996 Redline RL 440 A 96 or 97 GT Speed Series Episode 3 A 94 Diamondback Assault 95 Harrow Group 1 CI. Episode 4, 2004, I think, Mongoose Villain. The 1998 GT Mac 1. The 98 Mongoose Expert. The 1997 Expert Comp. Episode 5, the 1997 Mongoose Expert Pro. A 1997 Dino NSX. That's right, episode 6 already. Thanks very much for watching up to this point. Before we get going into episode six and what's in box number one, we're gonna draw the box for next week. Box number 20. So we're looking in box number one this week. It's another small 20 inch box and it has two frame sets in it. So the first frame set in box number one is this 2003 GT Performer. I bought this one about six months ago, um, really just to um, have a crack at something a little bit cheaper. You will find that a lot of the new school GTs are a little less than certainly the mid school and definitely old school. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this, one to two hundred dollars just a nice little project it does have a three tube chromo frame a lot of the frames from gt in the early 2000s kind of were very similar you had the comp the air the performer the slammer they all had very similar frame sets over the years um, badged slightly differently so this 2003 does take a u-brake on the rear so you can see you brake mounts uh, 14 mil axles I believe on the rear and on the fork on the down tube you've got the brake bosses and on the head tube you'll also have welded on gyro tabs of course the head tube is oversized one and one eighth these are the original forks for this frame they are horribly bent I do have also in the box a replacement for these. Again, U-brake mounts on the fork, cable boss on the back. They are the almost half Pac-Man cut. And in this box is the replacement for those bent forks. Serial number is stamped underneath the bottom bracket on this frame. So now that these decals are done, um, I will be respraying, taking off these original decals, completely respraying the frame. Um, I'm not matching the exact blue, uh, but I do have a blue paint that I quite like. It's a little bit lighter than this original color, but um, that's what I'll be using. These original forks will go in the trash. So that's the 2003 GT Performer. I'll grab the other frame set that's in that box as well. So in that box is also this frame set. It has been wrapped up. Um, it is a pretty special one. I'll get it open and show you what it is. This little beauty is my 1989 Harrow Shredder. Lovely little frame. Um, I have attempted once to do these decals. I will be doing them again, and that's why they're not yet for sale on my website. It's obviously the split top tube, slightly different dropouts to a lot of the other Harrows at the time. Of course, the wraparound head tube gusset, 
and built-in coaster brake bracket as well. Although part of the Harrow Freestyle series of bikes for 89, the Shredder being one of the lower um, models, the forks didn't come with stander bosses. These are just a tapered fork. Threads are great on this set. They do have two brake bosses on the rear. For 89, the serial number isn't on the actual bottom bracket. It's actually on the bottom of the down tube. A regular size 22-2 seat post. These of course had a caliper brake, so no, no U-brake bosses or anything like that. And the brake cable uh, boss is on the underside of the top tube. So I really like this frame set. Certainly a big fan of the mid to late 80s freestyle frames. I don't have an awful lot of them, but uh, I do have quite a few of the mid-range. So like this shredder. Okay, so that wraps up the contents of box number one for this week. Really appreciate you watching. If you've enjoyed this series, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think. What do you think of this one? That's it for now. See you next time.